Hello, my name is Jose Fuentes. I'm a seer. I'm a psychic. How are you? I'm the uh, uh, I'm the a creator of Jose Feeds on Microblog. Please subscribe. Please come by. Coming in, we're gonna start doing more videos in English, in, in which um, everybody's gonna get. Uh, um, um, everybody's gonna benefit from a lot of the things that I said, a lot of the things that I've been predicting, a lot of the things that I um, that, that will happen. And uh, keep in mind that this is not a channel for sports. You know, if you're looking for uh, sports uh, stats and predictions, you can go to another channel. This is not just about sports; it's about everything. So um, stop asking me about things that uh, that uh, will happen with. Uh, uh, with uh with teams um you know like soccer teams and stuff don't ask those questions please please don't ask those questions because i don't like that if i find that somebody's asking asking questions you know when i already talk about this and go and start asking questions of that uh nature you're gonna be blocked and you're gonna be expelled of the channel so don't ask those questions just watch relax and stay 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 the process you know just 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 flow, you know. Don't, don't, uh, um, don't aggravate me, you know. So just relax. This is a channel that's a, that's for world predictions. I'm a psychic. I'm a I'm I'm a, I'm a clairvoyant for everything, not just for soccer. So just come down with that, you know. So a lot of people sometimes they, they ask me questions in English. I don't like that. I don't like that. Don't ask those questions. Watch the watch the channel and wait for me to pop, you know, and start talking things that obviously interest us um, in terms of what ha what's going on with the world. Let's start with uh, let's start with the pop uh, pop Francis. Pop Francis start getting into stage where he's going a little bit crazy. I think pop pop uh, uh, pop Francis is uh, um, is ready basically for uh, his last breath. I don't think he's gonna have much life left. I think that uh, he's having a little bit of problems with dementia, uh, with dementia. I think he's going to start talking about uh, issues that nobody wants to hear. The body can is very, so he's extremely worried because he start uh, um, unveiling things that uh, uh, they never want to talk about. You know, a lot of the things that he's talking about, people try to debunk. You know, and now it's not, uh, now it's not going to be possible because um, um, is they're going to basically lock out. You know, a lot of those secrets more and more. I think this guy is up for a lot of trouble i think this guy is gonna be killed i think that he he's been systematically poisoned you know and um for i think for for months already you know he's got intestinal problems they want to get rid of them you're gonna start seeing more and more things about this guy uh in terms of uh what he's talking he's talking about the vatican girl that got lost you know now people start questioning and there's the rumors about uh jump um uh John Paul, you know, saying that he was a pedophile, which that, that exists in the body cam. We all know that. Um, there's a lot of things that will start happening, you know. And I think at the end of the at the end of the day, this guy is gonna die. He's gonna be a. Uh, um, he's gonna be a. Uh, um, it's gonna be a person that uh, is gonna end up pretty bad, you know, with uh, uh, with a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, enemies that he's just creating that he created already. And my prediction is that he's not going to make it passing this year. The other thing is that uh, the new pop is going to be from Canada. I see somebody from Canada. It's going to be uh, uh, another, uh, it's going to be a, 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 an Anglo-Saxon, you know, um, a pop. And a lot of people were, were thinking that's going to be a black uh, a black pop. That's not going to happen. It's going to be a white pop, you know, and it's going to be a, uh, um, it's going to be basically somebody that's, that's, worse than most of the uh, pontifex you know that they've been in the uh, body can so wait for that i wanted to let you know also that um we're gonna have a lot a lot of problems in the united states you know with a big recession things are getting worse and worse and worse um um, they they offer a huge disaster with the banks, you know, that the crisis hasn't end. You know, the problem is that uh, basically Republicans have put uh, everything in a, in a silver plate for Democrats. You know, they are knowing a lot of people. Jobs are steady, you know, crappy jobs. People still work, you know. It's not like people are not working. There's a lot of crappy jobs, you know, so people are trying to make ends meet. And uh, um, it's going to continue. It's going to continue. Um, and and that's gonna probably uh, 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 boost some of the uh, bolster some of the uh, um, some of the, uh, the Democrats uh, um, policies, you know, to get reelected. Um, Republicans are making a lot of mistakes, you know. As I said, I predicted it. I don't know if you if you hear from me, but uh, anti-gay, anti-trans, 
anti-abortion disaster disaster they shouldn't be talking about those issues they should concentrate on the economy it's gonna be a big problem for uh, uh for republicans they're not gonna win this is a prediction biden is gonna win again biden is gonna be uh halfway through his term he's gonna have to leave he's either gonna die or he's gonna have a bad disease kamala harris is gonna be the the uh, the first woman president of the united states the first black president indian president i don't know what she is uh of the united states that's gonna happen that's my prediction after her, after her, some crazy thing is gonna happen in California where this guy um, uh, Newsom is gonna bolster his image tremendously. I don't know if that they're gonna find something in California. Uh, there's a lot of things in California. There's gold, there's steel. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be lithium. I don't know what they're gonna find that this guy is gonna be very popular among, uh, uh, you know, among um, uh, Americans. In spite of the fact that uh, California is a disaster, I, as far as I'm concerned, they should just give it back to Mexico. It's a total disaster, California, at this, at this point, because of this guy. So, But something is going to happen when Newsom is going to be the next president of the United States. I see this guy in the White House. Kamala Harris is just going to take over. I don't think that Kamala Harris is going to want to continue, you know, as a president. She's going to have a lot of enemies. She's going to make a lot of problems. The fact, the fact of the matter is that she's going to be a woman president. She's going to take over you it's gonna take over the country and that's a uh, that's a bold prediction because nobody's seen this coming so let's see what happens let's go to sports i uh, i was watching the uh um the game um not the game the results on the box uh milwaukee box um normal you know they lost with uh, miami heat it could be wrong too you know don't get me wrong it's a sport for christ's sake you know it's not something that uh um, I'm, I'm, I'm standing one leg, you know, and I'm ready to fall because they're gonna, somebody's gonna lose a win. This is ridiculous, you know. I'm just, it's just a prediction. I'm seeing that to be a, a to be a, 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 a win for the box. I think they're gonna do extremely well. I think that uh, they're gonna win. I still think they're gonna win, you know. Uh, one game lose, um, one game loss. I'm sorry, doesn't mean absolutely nothing, you know. River Plate of Argentina is a tremendous team. They lost in in Bolivia, you know, and that doesn't mean they're gonna win the uh, the Libertadores. I think that River Plate is gonna win the Libertadores as well as the uh, local tournament. Uh, Manchester City is gonna win. They, I'm sure that they have some losses. Argentina lost the first game. Don't go by that. Don't go by that. I still, I'm um, still trying to refresh my, uh, my, my, my um, clairvoyance. Looking at him, I saw him. I saw the three, the three, the uh, Portis and the other Holiday and the other, the, another, another kid that I'm seeing. That's the way I can, uh, I can see through uh, things. You know, I still, I still, I watch the game after they lost with Miami Heat. I still see these kids. You know, they're gonna pull through. I think that Milwaukee is gonna be the next. I'm gonna sustain. I'm gonna sustain that Milwaukee is gonna be the next NBA champions. Watch for that. Don't ask me again. Don't ask me again, especially when I'm giving predictions in Spanish. I don't want to hear anymore. You know, you have the predictions that you um, that I'm giving it to you right now. So it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. What we're we gonna do? I still think that uh, uh, Julian Alvarez is going to the Real Madrid. Prediction giving prediction almost ready to happen. I I said it. I said it. Real Madrid is after this kid. He's gonna he's gonna get pulled pull pull out of the uh, uh, of uh, of of the Manchester. And I think that uh, um, if not if not then if not the next season the following. And I think he's gonna be basically an asset for the Real Madrid. I still see eighty percent Manchester winning the next UEFA. We'll see what happens. They're winning this one for sure. So they're gonna be the next UEFA champions. I said already. Um, and I think that's gonna be um, that's gonna be uh, an incredible an incredible uh, uh, boost for a team that uh, um, basically nobody gave uh, nobody thought that was gonna happen. You know, I think I was the only one who said that they had they had a chance. Everybody thought that Real Madrid was gonna because you know, Real Madrid still in the tournament, but Real Madrid is not gonna win anything this year. So um, I believe that. Uh, um, Leo, Leo Messi, they're asking me, I'm going to answer you again. Leo Messi is not going to win anything else. Leo, Leo, Messi, Leo Messi won everything. Leo Messi, they should give him a, a, a Ballon d'Or every year. He's the best player of all times, but he's not going to win anything. Leo Messi is done. He's done with winning um, trophies like that. Leo Messi has other, other attributes. I think that uh, uh, you have to understand that Leo Messi is competing with kids that are 23, 22, 25 years old. There's a kid in Argentina right now that's going to come very strong. I predicted it too. From the uh, That's a prediction I gave. Ball prediction. Crazy prediction. His name is uh, uh, um, Claudio Echeverri. I said it that somebody from the uh, uh, Fuerzas Basicas, okay, from from the second teams of, uh, um, of the... Uh, uh, of the uh, um, tournament in Argentina, it was gonna be a 
total success. It was going to boost Argentina tremendously. And that's it. Right there is him. It's called Claudio Echeverri, prediction given, prediction fulfilled. He's going to be there. You can't com you can make Lionel, Lionel, Leo Messi competing with an 18-year-old year, year kid. That's ridiculous. Keep that, take that away from your mind already. He can't compete with, uh, with Haaland. He can't compete with Alvarez. That, they're in another uh, bracket right now. So Leo gave a lot. Leo... Uh, strategically, strategically, I think he has a lot, a lot to give still, and he's gonna be playing, and he's gonna be playing the next World Cup with Argentina. He's gonna be there. Don't worry, you'll see him. But that's it for him as far as winning trophies. I don't know if they're gonna give him the uh, Ballon d'Or this year. They may, you know. I don't know. I'm not saying no. I see Haaland winning it, but he may. They may say, well, he won the World Cup. We're gonna just give it to him. As I said before, they should give him every year a Ballon d'Or because he's the best player in the world. So I'm, I'm just. Uh, I'm just telling you that he's gonna be, um, he's gonna be a phenomenal, phenomenal player. So we'll see what happened. Um, we're gonna go really, really, really quick into another um, prediction that I like to give you, and this is something that uh, has to do has to do with um, Britain. I think uh, I think Britain is gonna be probably looking at his last king. I think that Britain is already. Uh, Dan, I'm not. I saw. I saw, and I said it um, in some some video in Spanish. I saw that Har um, 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 William is, was not gonna be. Uh, it was not gonna be crowned. And uh, the reason why I saw that is because uh, uh, the British people already already discussed. You know, with all this thing, with all with with what's going on, taxes are going to them, and they have somebody. They have a. a um, in a way, you know, and I'm not gonna say an enemy, but they have somebody that has um, that has deal that has felt, okay, um, the uh, um, the England Empire, you know, more than any more than anybody else, and that's this guy Sunak, uh, Rashi Sunak, uh, the Prime Minister, however his name is, um, that um, his ancestors lived that, you know, and they uh, they have the British there in India for many many years, you know, uh, basically torturing them, you know, and uh, and uh, uh, robbing them and all that. So the guy is gonna probably uh, probably make a couple of adjustments. You know, I'm not saying that he's gonna take away the crown from them. That's not gonna happen. But um, he's gonna probably uh, make uh, some policies that will make sense, you know, where people are gonna be, well, you know what? We're giving money away to these people. They don't do anything. I don't see William to be crowned. I think that uh, King Charles is gonna be the last king. Okay, that's my prediction. We'll see what happens. Um, and uh, that's the end of it. And and I think that a lot of these people are gonna probably walk out happily. Harry walk out happily. You know, I say I don't want anything to do with it. Harry's gonna be a big influence for that thing to finish. I think Harry's gonna be the one that's gonna give him the last stop. You know, and you'll see what happens. But I think that uh, Prince Charles is gonna be the last, the last uh, monarch in uh, England. England is gonna have a total shift. You know, and um, and it's gonna be for the good. I think that it's gonna be for the good. I think Sunak is uh, this prime minister is doing a tremendous. Tremendous, a tremendous job, you know, he's, he's very smart, he's helping England a lot, I think that England is going to be definitely, definitely a country to watch, it's going to uh, resurrect, you know, from uh, from a crisis, and I think it's going to be really, really uh, good to see England being at the top again, uh, economically, you know, and, 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 and politically and socially, this guy, this 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 Indian, uh, British guy, however you want to call it, he's a master, he's a genius, I think that's the best thing that happened to England. Um, I really like the guy. I really love the guy. I think he's gonna he's gonna do extremely well. The Russian and uh, Ukrainian war. I want to close with this. It's almost done. You know, this war is uh, this pathetic war is uh, is getting is getting basically to a point where uh, even the Mer the Wagner mercenary um, don't remember his name. You know, already told uh, the world um, told the uh, uh, the Russian uh, oligarch. Uh, uh, Dmitry Medvedev is the one that's moving, the, that's pulling the strings in uh, in Russia. Vladimir Putin is dead. They have like six, seven uh, uh, doubles that go and, and and pretend that they are there. But that's this guy, Dmitry Medvedev. He's the one that's doing all this mess. Um, this guy, the uh, the mercenary Wagner, told them already. This is, I think he's the guy that's gonna take over next. You know, he's tired of all this. You know, he knows they're not gonna win. He knows that uh, the British, the German, the French, the Americans, it's impossible to win a war like that. You know, and uh, and they fighting with a with a country that knows the territory. This is not like a German invade them and they don't know what the hell they, where the hell they are. You know, the. Uh, 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 the Ukrainians know exactly what they're doing there, you know, and, and, and know, know the land very good. 
I don't think they have a chance. I think this war is going to end up in, uh, during summertime. I said that in Spanish. I'm telling you right now. It's a prediction that you're going to see uh, happening. It's going to finish this war. Basically, um, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm, I'm giving you a bold prediction. Between June and August, this is over. This is over. Um, they got to proclaim that uh, Putin is there. I know how they're going to do that. No idea how they're going to do that. Um, and, uh, and Putin is just a little guy, you know, there's a, there's a lot of different, uh, there's a lot more power than Putin in, uh, in Russia. So, uh, the guy happened credit cancer. He's gone. He's not, he's not Putin. You can see, you know, it's a fat guy there, uh, uh talking and seeing and moving. Um, you can see his hands are not the same. You can see his cheeks are not the same. You can see there's things that don't, don't, don't resemble Putin. So this war is gonna, is gonna end up, it's gonna be very bad for Russia. Russia is gonna, is gonna basically hit, um, uh, rock bottom, and uh, um, this is just gonna it's just gonna end up pretty bad for them. I think the Americans again is they're gonna they're gonna go there and start taking uh, natural resources from them. They're gonna put some uh, some mafioso there that runs the country like uh, they did with Putin. They put Putin there, you know, when uh, Boris Yeltsin um, uh, um, f um, basically um, resigned. You know, Putin was his bodyguard. Putin was there. Boris, Boris Jensen was an alcoholic, was a drunkard. You know, he was he, he was just a low life, you know, that was there. And the other guy was a bodyguard. And uh, the Americans said, when they collapsed, they say, okay, we'll take everything. The oil, we take the gas, the Clintons did. We take everything, you know, and uh, what, what, what we have, we need a guy here. Who we put? What's your name? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Vladimir Putin. What you do? I'm, uh, I'm the tough guy for this guy, Jensen. All right, you're next. Just go, go to the office and run the country. That's basically what they do, you know, and that's why basically what they did with this guy. And, uh, the guy grew, you know, he, uh, he got rebellious, you know, he talked back and that's what happens when you talk back to the biggest empire the world ever, ever, ever had, you know, and, and nobody's going to see this empire, you know, falling, not your kids, not your grandkids. That ain't going to happen. And, and, and you'll see China is next, you know, the United States is provoking a war with Taiwan. That's going to happen. Happen, that's gonna happen. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna buy. They're gonna buy the. Uh, um, they're gonna buy the meat. They're gonna. They lure them. They lure them. You know, to go and attack Taiwan because they know that by sea is gonna be a problem for China, and it's gonna be a war with Taiwan and China. And again, everybody's gonna go. You're gonna see England. You're gonna see the Americans. You're gonna see the French. You're gonna see the Germans giving things to Taiwan until they dry. Them. They're, they're dry. Them. What happens to China right now have a lot of problems. You know, their factories are closed. The uh, real estate is not moving. Their banks are, are, are in trouble. You know, their technology is in trouble. You know, they are in a lot of trouble. If they, if they happen to make that mistake where the Chinese, you know, uh, buy, buy what the Americans are giving them, you know, and attack Taiwan, it's going to be a big problem for China. I hope they don't. I really hope they don't because that's going to be a disaster for China. And again, America is going to go to the rescue once they collapse and they're going to start imposing things. They want to have China like, they want China at their hands. The Democrats are the ones that are causing these wars. They caused the war in Ukraine. This, that was that was their master plan. They have that. They, 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 they build... They build a tension, you know, where the Ukrainians basically, in the a basic illustration, they were throwing rocks, you know, in the border to, to the Russians. The Russians couldn't do anything because then it would be a problem. So um, we're writing to the UN saying like, hey, they throwing those rocks, you know, and we're going to go and we're going to we're going to invade them. We're going to attack them. And what happened that the UN just looked the other way. And then they were talking about uh, Ukrainian, which I was a big lie. They were gonna be par paranoid, you know. And the Russians roared again to the UN and said, like, "Oh, that cannot happen because if they paranoid, we're gonna have a war with everybody else. They're gonna destroy us." There's a lot, of, and you know what? And, and nobody did anything until the Russians said, "This is enough. We're gonna invade them," you know. And that's it. But that was another masterpiece work by the Americans, you know. And this is what's happening. So they drain, they drain the uh, Russians. Um, they're on one leg. Russia is gonna have a lot of problems. They um, they want the draft to be um, to be uh, uh, for everyone in Russia. You know, to be for all citizens in Russia. Um, you know, those kids are not gonna want to go. Russia is gonna get into a Russian revolution. That's what the Americans want to do. That's what the Americans want to do. Russia is gonna destroy for within. You know, plus the war. Plus all the problems they have, it's a, an absolute disaster. An absolute disaster. It's a shame. It's a shame because Russia was doing so good. You know, they should have stayed where they were, you know, and wait a little more. Wait a little more. They made a mistake, you know. Now they're drying. They they basically, like, they they just drying themselves. And it's going to be a problem because that's not going to, that's, that's going to be, that's going to take him after what's going to happen in Russia at least 20 years to recover.
Let's see what happens. Those are my predictions. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't worry about it, the uh, videos in Spanish. I'll be here with you once, twice, three times a month, maybe once a week. We're going to keep it going. Thank you so much. Recommend the channel. Uh, hit the notifications and start putting notifications in English too, you know, um, in Spanish and both, in both languages. And I hope that everybody, everybody enjoy the video. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Jose Fuentes, Clairvoyant, Psychic for Jose Fitz on Microblog. Thanks.